Hello YouTube and welcome to another new VMware XXI tutorial. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to download the new VMware XXI free edition from Broadcom. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see here, I'm logged in to the official web page from TechDocs from Broadcom. So you can see here there is actually some released notes about the VMware ASXi 8.0 update 3e. Okay. So as you can see here, these release notes from Broadcom. And the most interesting things here about this edition is, as you can see here, Broadcom makes available the VMware vSphere hypervisor version 8 an entry level hypervisor you can download it free of charge from the broadcom support portal okay so this is the big news now is that actually broadcom is offering this version free of charge okay so we can do that using the broadcom support portal okay so let me log on to this uh, broadcom uh, supports portal in order to download this free edition okay so this is the actually the support portal so here i'll have to enter my actually password so when you only use actually the link that i left on the description you get this uh, free download pages okay so in order to download this free edition you have to scroll down Till you find actually the link to VMware vSphere hypervisor as you can see here and you're gonna actually click on this link and you will be redirected to another page okay so in this page you will find another link called VMware vSphere hypervisor so I have to click on it here we go and here we go you can see the release which is 8.0 u3e okay so now you can just click on this link here and you can actually now download actually this uh, ESXi ISO image from this link here HTTPS download. So of course here you have to agree on the, li on the license so normally you will get actually a checkbox here in order to validate the license okay. But me as I already done that. I am directly redirected to this link here where I can download the ISO image, okay? So you can see the process is pretty simple, pretty easy. All you have to do is to create an account on the Broadcom and you wait a little bit for the verific verification of your account. Then you can download actually this free edition of VMware vSphere hypervisor, okay? But let me return back to the releases noted. So in the release notes, there is a lot of actually technical information about this uh, update here. So you can see a lot of bug fixes. You can see the technical details of every actually uh, bug, okay? And the new also features. So it's a huge page. So you can scroll down till you found the information that you want to get okay and here i want to talk about the limitations because this free edition has some kind of limitations that you have to keep in mind okay so the first limitation is that it's actually limited to eight virtual cpus per VM okay so you have to keep that in mind you cannot exceed eight virtual CPUs per VM okay and also vCenter integration is not actually supported so you cannot integrate this uh, free edition with your vCenter server okay also concerning the APIs the APIs for management are read only, so you cannot make changes using the APIs for management. Okay. Also, the vSphere high availability RDS and uh, also vMotion are not available. Okay. 
and the VM encryption also is not available and you cannot use the cluster because clustering is not supported using this actually free edition but on the opposite you can use the maximum RAM which is 12 uh, terabytes which is the uh, same as the paid actually edition and also you have the maximum physical CPUs which are 768 logical CPU which is also the same as the paid version okay and the license actually is integrated on this release you don't need to input any uh, license key or something like that because integrated on the ISO okay but overall I guess this is a great actually release because it's free okay and also it's great for home lab and if you are doing some uh, dev testing for example it can be very very helpful okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to download the new VMware ESXi 8.3e update from the Broadcom website okay so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content and of course if you have any suggestions for future video drop them in the comment below as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.